Oh no! Whoa! Why would they let me buy that? Hey there! So, I know last time I said that we were gonna do the wish thing maybe like weeks and weeks and weeks from now. But then, everything just showed up. All but one thing. And that one thing is kind of irrelevant to the wish order. It was just a knife, and I was going to open that first, and then use the wish knife to open all the wish stuff. But that's okay. Maybe I'll use the wish knife to open more stuff later. But I do have another knife that I'm gonna use for this one, obviously. In other news, things are lightening up around here and we're gonna start having live games again. Like actually go outside, get the guns that we have and use them games. Like games where you call your hits. It's crazy. So pretty soon, I'm gonna plan a tournament. But not just any tournament. One of those tournaments where they like attach the balloons to themselves and you gotta pop them, like Mario Kart. I know Mr. Beast did it and Dude Perfect does it, so. I want to try it. So we're going to get a bunch of teams together from around here and see what happens. So if you're local and you're interested in doing that, let me know. And we still have the Labor Day boxes coming up. Definitely going to do those. Might slow down on the boxes and start with some gameplay videos, but I'm not going to stop entirely. So keep watching. Don't forget, subscribe. Go to the Instagram because once we hit 4,000, that's when you can win a box. I'm going to make a box for you and then give it away at 4,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, click subscribe. And let's do this. Back to the boxes. This is all the wish crap that I've been accumulating over the past couple months. If you don't know, when you place an order on the Wish app, it doesn't all come from the same place. It's not like Amazon. It's always in these nondescript bags. So I don't really know what's in every one of them. Almost positive it's all here. So if you go to Wish.com, you can get a ton of cool stuff, but who knows when it'll show up. It also might not show up. It's hit or miss. I did have one item that showed up immediately, like two days after I ordered it. I was impressed. But then again, it came from Amazon. So somebody drop shipped it. And if you don't know what drop shipping is, it's selling an item you don't actually have and then ordering it from another website and placing the buyer's address as your address and shipping it right to them, taking the middle profit. Now I checked on the price and it was about the same. So I don't know what profit they actually made. It still came really quick from Amazon. I don't know if I count that, but I still ordered it on Wish. But for now, well, there are a whole bunch of different packages and an empty box. Today, I'm using this knife. It is a straight razor looking thing. They kinda it looks like it came from Wish, but it didn't. I've had it for a long time. And on the blade it says, Whom virtue unites, death will not separate. It's assisted opening. So it's going to assist in opening these packages. <laughs> uh, also, the knife I used last week, some of you pointed out that it's difficult to carry. But it has a sheath, and you are right, it did come with a sheath, it's leather. So it, I could carry it if I wanted, it has a nice fancy belt loop. And if you didn't see last week, it does this. It's like a bowie knife. It folds, all weird like. And then goes into the leather sheath. Like so. I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention, that yes I do have a sheath for it. It's not that dangerous. Let's get back to this. First. I'm gonna open this thing. This is what was drop shipped to me from Amazon. So I ordered it on Wish, but it arrived in an Amazon truck in my driveway two days later. Well, we're gonna check the quality. I know what this is. It feels familiar. It's like something you'd wear over your eyes to protect your face. Do we have any guesses? Let me know. What is it? Not the sharpest knife I've got. So it did show up in this box. That's the box I was using to keep everything in, so it came in handy, but it came from Amazon. Got through the bubble wrap. Get rid of that. I don't expect there to be a lot of paper in this episode, more plastic. Let's get rid of that. And here we are. It is a nice Velcro bag. Goggles. And a cover. Protective cover. 
Jeez, we're gonna need the lock picking lawyer to get into these. Ah! Alright, there we go. So they are goggles. Mm. Yes, they look good, they feel good, I might loosen them. Comes with the clear lens, clear, the yellow, and the smoke tinted lens that I've got on now. They feel well constructed. Now remember, this wish video was stuff that I thought would actually be useful and might actually show up in working condition as opposed to last time where everything I opened kind of just fell apart. Oh no! I wanted to get better quality items this time to show that not everything would be garbage. Then again, this came from Amazon. I spent a total of $12 on these goggles and they were $15 on Amazon. Got the screenshot from Amazon. I'm gonna post it. Okay, right there. $12 on that. It does always charge you shipping on the items that you buy and that's calculated at the end and you can't use coupon codes on shipping and all that. But I did find coupon codes for all these items. I'd say this was worth it. So if I spent, let's say like $19 total on this, this is a pair of goggles that I would go out and purchase for 20 bucks. This is something I would wear. Comes with extra lenses, comes with a protective pouch. Uh, I expected them to come broken. Then again, I didn't expect them to come from Amazon. So, item number one, I say yes. How about you? Next, I think I know what this is too. I think this is lower mesh. The Tactical Gear Multicam Lower Mesh. It came in a nice packaging too. Usually from Wish, you don't get nice packaging. It's just thrown in a bag. It has a little zip lock on it. Ooh, it's got the ear protection. Throw it on. I'm sure my hair looks great. This cost $10 plus $5 shipping. For this multicam, it got ear protection on each side. Mesh is pretty good. It feels, it feels pretty tough. Like nothing's getting through this. And it protects all the good parts. I'd say this is a win too. I'm stuck. The elastic's a little thin. That might deteriorate over time with some wear. The fabric is okay. Other than the elastic, I'd say this was a win also. I think I know what this one is. Pretty excited for it. Might be one of two things. Oh, it's like Christmas! Self-sponsored Christmas. And then again, Aren't they all? It's a red dot. This is not the package I thought it would be. It is a red dot. I figured I would order a sight. Mm. The box is kind of crushed. I didn't do that. It says Bushnell on it, but we can both go ahead and guess that that's not right. That doesn't look like a real Bushnell to me. And the packaging it came in is just red dot. Everything says red dot. Well, it comes with the end caps, protective caps, like that. All right, comes with an Allen key. Ooh, it's always something. But the important part is, does it work? There's no batteries. It doesn't come with batteries. I don't think I have any handy either. Uh, well, no batteries in this, so we can't test it right now. I don't have a button cell handy. I'll have to get one later. I will update on this. Definitely not a Bushnell, though. Otherwise, it is full metal. Oh, the glass looks legit. For this, I spent $13 plus shipping. So let's say 20, like 20 bucks on this. Could have been better. I'm not gonna shoot that one out, though. It'll find its way on the gun eventually. I'm not going to just destroy it for fun like I did with the rest of them. I do not know what this next one is. Okay, this is different. It's something in a Pelican case with a string on it. I'm going to guess like flashlight because I know I ordered a flashlight. Oh no. Whoa. I forgot I ordered this. This is... An extremely high-powered laser. Very... Oh, oh my, my God. gosh. Don't shine this one with the camera. I'm, I won't. It'll probably break it or catch it on fire. <laughs> this is... Whoo! That was different. This is an extremely high-powered laser. It looks like something from Men in Black. Look at it. It's like solid, too. This is legit. This is 
really heavy. And it came in a hard case, that's freaking cool. Like foam and everything. It's got the battery charger. There was rechargeable batteries in there. And there's all these little, little heads for some reason. I don't know what each one is. We're gonna shine them though on the back wall behind me. Put a tip on here, just the tip. That's what she said. Okay, that's cool. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what all the tips do. Oh, wow. Whoa! It's like a party. Seriously? <laughs> all right, these are getting repetitive. Got the last one here. All right. It said the world's most powerful laser, so I ordered it. This is <laughs> super bright. That's so bright. I, I can't even look at it. It's reflect, like I can't look at it either. All right, let's try something. It said it will, it will literally burn paper. So we have the laser instructions. You gotta, like, you gotta hold it still. Oh, oh my, my god! <sighs> oh no! Ooh, bad! Bad, 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 bad! That was really bad! Guys, I burned a hole right through the instructions! It smells burny in here! Don't do this at home. Good, Not yeah. for children. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they let me buy that? Why would they let me purchase this? Why legally can I own this? I'll take. Uh, mm. When this video is over, I'm gonna go outside with my camera and shine it at the sky and see what I can see because it's nighttime right now. We're doing this tonight. Uh, yeah. Wow. All right. So. Burn paper again. <laughs> she wants me to burn paper again, guys. Let's fold it. I'm gonna fold it in half. And fold it twice and see if I can burn through four levels. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> no! It went right through it. Alright, before I set the smoke alarms off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> it went through all four layers. Like that. That's crazy that you can just buy this on Wish. It's, that's dangerous. That's extremely dangerous. But I could see if used properly, you could put something like this in a go bag or camping bag and then light a fire with it. All you gotta do is kind of shoot it at something and it catches it on fire. They advertised it as such and I didn't believe it. Now it is sold out. I just checked on Wish. This is completely sold out on there. I'm sure you can get it somewhere else, but it's advertised as the most powerful laser on Wish. Actually, on The Wish. Probably is. That's what got me to buy it because they said it was the most powerful laser and I didn't believe them. I thought it would be just another little laser. Uh, I was wrong. So I did spend $50 on this laser. It was $46 plus $5 shipping. It's insane how well built this is. It's just a, a piece of metal. It's solid. Listen, watch. <laughs> That's like a weapon. Now there was cheaper versions. I could buy it without the batteries. Uh, you could buy it without the charger. I think you can get it without the case and it would have been bare bones and I wouldn't have been able to test it. But I went for the deluxe model because I wanted to see what $50 worth of a laser would get us. That's cool. That's really cool. That's a win. $50. That's probably a $50 laser. I wouldn't pay much more than that. It's crazy that you can buy this stuff. It's Look like it. All right, moving on. The next couple bags have multiple items in them. So I'm gonna open the bag and then open an item individually. So here we go. There's one. Here's two. So this one, I know what this is. This was really cheap. It's kind of like one of those little add-on things that I saw and I just figured it looked cool. I had to have it. Oh my gosh. They are just carabiners. It was a couple bucks. Can't figure It's like a puzzle. It always looks better on the picture. But this is what was advertised right here. And I only spent like $5 on this. What do I got here? Six carabiners. They're locking. They're not for climbing use. So I couldn't go out and climb a mountain with these. But hanging gear, uh, using to clip to Molly. I mean, these are 
universal in airsoft. It's just like duct tape. Uh, they're very useful. So I just, I added them on there. And you can't really go wrong. You can put your keys on them, clip a uh, pouch to you. Endless possibilities. Can't go wrong with pieces of metal. It is carabiners. This next one, I think, I know what this is, and it will be probably as epic as the laser. I like how they... Look at that. <laughs> Here we go. This is... One of the most powerful flashlights I could find on Wish. To go with the laser, duh. So these are big batteries. They're 3.7 volt rechargeable and it comes with a USB to charge the light. You just plug it in. Let's just go ahead and see how bright it really is. If I put them in right. Did I put them in right? I don't think so. Maybe go on like that. Still smells like something's on fire in here. bright. I don't know. Ooh, I don't want to look at it, that's for sure. It's got a charge indicator on it. Tells you how much batteries. Ooh. Ooh. You can focus it. And it's got a strobe function. I went and I got my most powerful flashlight. This one is by Coast. I got it at Home Depot. Runs on six double A's. This is the one we just got from Wish. Okay, even on its dim setting, it's brighter than the one I got at Home Depot. Now the one I got at Home Depot is usually like $30. I think I got it on sale one year around Black Friday. This is supposed to be an extremely bright flashlight. It's the Coast HP 450. I use this outside at night to find anything. If I hear a noise, I can spot animals out in the woods. You see their beady little eyes. But this thing is intense. This is a seriously bright flashlight. This flashlight from Wish was $30, $7 shipping. I'd say 30 bucks plus shipping against this $30 flashlight. This one's even heavier. The Wish flashlight is heavier. Feels like it's built well. It's rechargeable. This one's not. You just have to get new double A's. I like the, the double A's because you can replace them on the, on the go. If you have to charge this, it'll probably take a while, and they are batteries that are just for this flashlight. I haven't seen those extra long 3.7 volt batteries anywhere. The battery indicator, that could probably save your day. Uh, it did come with this cool lanyard. Okay, it's like a paracord. It's not the greatest paracord. I don't even know what you would do with this. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably like some kind of sling. It's adjustable. It's super long. Jeez. Or you could, I don't know, hang it, hang attach it. it to something. It's multi-purpose. It's got the one that clips here. It's adjustable. I will also, at the end of this video, do a flashlight test side by side. It's a really cool flashlight. Then we got the big bag left. There are a couple items in here. This one. And this. And that. Yeah, I'm gonna start with this. Boom. This is an M-Lock hand stop. This is for the Demolition Ranch rifle that we got recently. So this was $9 plus shipping. So like, let's say 15. It's metal, it's very solid. It came with the hardware. It came with the Allen key. It's ready to go. We will put this on the rifle when we do a video on all the guns we got from the unboxing. We're going to test fire them and review them one at a time. I will have this on, I think, the Demolition Ranch. It's metal. It looks like it will work well. I can't see why it wouldn't. It's just a chunk of metal. Flashlight number two. This one's also rechargeable. I feel like everything is moving in that direction anyway. It came with a weaver rail gun mount, pressure switch adapter. That's really cool, that's solid. Ooh. Came with batteries. Came with a serious looking battery. It's called the 
Ultra Fire BRC 18650 4200 milliamp 3.7 volt. That's a serious battery. 4200 milliamps, that's a lot of power. Here's this one on the wall. Kill the lights. That's pretty bright. It's a good weapon light. It doesn't have to be too bright. It does have dim function, dimmer, strobe, SOS, and off. Now we're going to test out the pressure switch. On, off. The quick on, quick off. This is the on, off. So this is to mount to your gun. You would run this to your grip. Again, not as bright as the one we just opened, but this is a pretty nice heavy duty metal light. So here's the weapon mount. That's pretty solid too. 14 millimeter weaver rail. It could attach to a rail system, the top of a rail. That's a really nice heavy duty rechargeable weapon flashlight from Wish. Solid. So this was about $20 plus shipping. So I'd say like 25, 30 bucks. Uh, good value. I would buy something like this in a store if I went. So worth it. Now we're down to one more item. The big one, which isn't that epic, but it is a bump helmet. Had to see what a helmet from Wish looked like. Ah. Needs to be adjusted, but I'd say not bad for airsoft. It's not going to save you in a real life incident. Like if you fall down, it might save you from bumping your head, but it's plastic. It's comfortable. There's tons of padding inside it. I don't really think the chin thing will work for me because of this, but put patches up here. It's got stuff for rails. Dude, I could walk around with a flashlight on my head. The inside is extremely padded. Like, tons of comfortable padding. They're in there really nice. Velcro. So you can take the pads out. Not a bad helmet from Wish. It's got all the stuff I like on it. The mounts are secure. Everything's solid. This helmet was $15 uh, plus shipping. So like 25. I don't really factor the shipping in. $15 helmet and it's built better than some of the ones that I've seen in airsoft stores. It is a replica, it's not real, but it is a helmet. So, to recap, helmet, weapon flashlight, big heavy duty serious flashlight with lanyard that's like six feet long, bunch of carabiners, M-lock rail hand stop, lower mesh that covers your mouth and ears. This is really important because I had my teeth shot out one time and that wasn't fun. Red dot goggles and an insane laser that could take down a spaceship. Seriously, this is alien technology. I will say that my least favorite was the red dot because it's a very obvious knockoff. I think we got the least bang for our buck on this one. It's just a basic kind of bleh red dot. You could put that money towards something way better, a replica EOTech or even just a scope with a little bit of zoom. Just, this is a standard red dot you could get at any airsoft store, any sporting goods store. I didn't need to order something like this on Wish when I could go get it readily anywhere else. But I do think the coolest item was the insane laser kit. The insane laser. That's the coolest. Probably the best bang for our buck here was the helmet. Because at airsoft stores you could pay 30, 40, or 50 dollars for a replica helmet when this one was 15 bucks. I'd say it's a really good haul. Nothing fell apart as soon as I touched it like last time. Everything came as advertised somewhat and some things came better than advertised. So if you're actually going on Wish to find things that will work for you, it's possible. So it's not just like my last video where everything I opened fell apart, fell all over the table. It's, it's hit or miss, but you got to really do your research and find out what you're buying. All right, so we're done with all that. Don't forget if you liked it, if you laughed a little, subscribe, because I'll make it happen again. We're doing about one video a week now, if not more. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I figure I'm gonna pick a couple questions from each viewer like I used to do on my show and start with that at the beginning of the video. Just answer some questions from you guys. So if you need to know anything, you're curious, ask away if you have any questions about pointers, tips, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. I'll put in my two cents for whatever it's worth. Don't forget to stay tuned. After the end of this video, I'm going to do a flashlight test outside real quick. Thanks again for watching, and I consider all of you my teammates, no matter where you are. I don't know, do my hands.
I'm gonna clean all this mess up. See you guys next time. We waited for it to get really dark outside and now we're gonna test a couple of these flashlights real quick. So first, here's the flashlight that I owned. It's the Coast HP 450. We're gonna just shine it out there. It's pretty bright. These are brand new batteries. We just put them in. Uh, so, can't really see well. That's with it off. On. Off. Now we're gonna try the little weapon flashlight. Just gonna go ahead and point it out there. So this is more of a focused beam. You can really see there's a tree. Now, without it, yeah, so that's that's pretty bright. Brighter than the coast. This is the one we got on Wish, the extremely bright flashlight. Okay, you can see everything. Those vehicles out in the woods. Now with it off, you can't see any of that. Focus beam. Oh. It's got this like weird window effect. <laughs> it's like the bat signal. <laughs> Look at that, that pile of rubble right there. There's that tree. Last but not least, we have the big laser from Men in Black, it looks like. So I'm gonna shine it right on the, the trees out there. Oh my Ooh. God. Guys, <laughs> we can take down an airliner with this. I would not recommend that. That's against the law and you'll go to jail for a long time. But that is a cr you can see the beam. Look at it, it's like a lightsaber, guys. <laughs> Can you see it? Yes. <laughs> it came with tips and they really work. This laser is the coolest thing that we got in any wish order so far. That's all for the laser and flashlight test. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.